Continuing on with the power feed project, today we'll finalise the mill wiring. First of all we'll make a mount for the control box. I'm aiming to place this so the USB cable can still protrude. This gives me the option of reprogramming easily in the future. I'm welding an extension onto the existing motor switch bracket. Yay, buttons! That's gonna vibrate like crazy when you're taking cuts. Probably. We'll see how it goes, and we'll stiffen if required. Now we can measure the distance to get from here, down, and to the step motor. I'm using ordinary household wiring. It's already sheathed, and it's pretty durable for what I need. And it's cheap. Here's a trick for measuring out cable. Lay out the tape one meter long, and then lay out the cable beside it in one meter increments. One meter. This is especially useful for long cables. It's a bit wasted here. Probably won't be able to strip this stuff. Urgh. Nope, success. To save confusion when wiring up the step motor, I'm splicing matching colors at each end of the cables. So I need to have some sort of connector. Now previously I was using these DuPont connectors and these are fine for all signal wires inside the box. Problem is these come apart very easily. So I'm not going to go with DuPont connectors. These are called Dean's connectors. They're quite strong connections and robust, but they can come apart quite easily with a bit of force if you want them to. And your wires are also soldered on the back here, so nice and solid. After a fair bit of trial and error, I've now got soldering Dean's connectors down to an art. It turns out the trick is you need to put a blob of solder on the Dean's connector. And to do this, it's best to have it horizontal, so you're not fighting gravity. And then off to the side, tin your wire, and then you put the two together, and they just join together with no problem. And done. So the real key is tin both sides first, and then try and stick them together. I've now soldered Dean's connectors on the step motor. I've got male terminals on the receiving end, and the powered end is female. From the electronics video I got a few questions. What sort of motor is this? This is a 3 newton meter stepper motor and I think it draws 4 amps. We'll see how it goes. Some other components I used in the last video, these are all illuminated buttons, some of these are toggle buttons and others are momentary tactile buttons. These are all rated for 24 volts but they work absolutely fine at low voltages. The other question that I keep getting, what's the clutch arrangement? That sort. Next video.